I love you too, Tim the Tat Man. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Alex. And if you've dreamed of fame, fortune, and complete creative fulfillment, then you've probably considered live streaming on Twitch. And I know what you're saying. There's no way I could understand all that tech needed to stream. And that's where you're wrong. With modern advances in technology, streaming is simpler than ever, and you can be online in no time with these simple streaming setup steps. First, you're going to need a computer. Any moderately powerful PC might do, but I'd suggest something with at least an i5 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and an NVIDIA 10 series graphics card if you want to frag with the best of them. The people want to hear you while you game. Nowadays, it's as easy as picking up a Blue Yeti or Razer Siren or any other USB type microphone. That being said, there are limitations on what you can do with a USB mic, such as noise gating, compression, or effects. So it's suggested that you use an XLR mic either converted to a digital signal by an XLR to USB digital audio interface, or via a mixer that connects to your streaming computer via USB out, or an audio over LAN solution like this rack mount model here. Next is your camera, which has never been simpler. It's as easy as picking up a Logitech USB webcam. That's it. That being said, if you do want constant frame rates and exposure, you can easily up your game by plugging in your photography camera into your computer with an Elgato CamLink 4K via the camera's HDMI output and your computer's USB 3.0 port. But hold on a second, won't being on all the time hurt my DSLR sensor? Unfortunately, that's right. And that's why we suggest using a camcorder with a high-speed 3G SDI output. Simply purchase a compatible broadcast camcorder and run the BNC cable from the SDI port to an SDI to HDMI converter or converter scaler if your camera doesn't match the frame rate, resolution, or interlacing of your streaming software. Then run that HDMI to either the CamLink 4K or skip altogether with an internal capture device such as a Blackmagic DeckLink Duo 2, making sure to put the capture card in the correct PCIe 4X, 8X, or 16X slot, usually run in descending order from their overall bandwidth throughput from the top to the bottom. It's as easy as that. Finally, it's imperative to get the lighting right. For easy separation, make your room as dark as possible. But if you need some color, I'd go for red. For some practical light in the background, I'd light some candles or burn a thicket of perennials. Then we suggest taking out some of the forbidden scriptures and begin reading from the ancient texts. It's important that you spill the blood of the innocent at some point during your reading, or it's unlikely that you'll awaken Baphomet from his eternal slumber. This is imperative if you want to cause family and strife across the land for generations to come, and if you want his dark spirit to appear at your portfolio being. Not to mention, getting your stream the attention that it deserves. And it's as simple as that. Now you're ready to be the next big thing. This has been another live stream service announcement. Remember, camera on, mics up, and soul at the door. Anyone can become a streamer. <laughs>